taking a hydrant dry, forward lay. <laughs> Designated firefighter, traditionally behind officer, disembarks engine and goes to tailboard. Firefighter opens hose cover. Firefighter grabs the hydrant board from rear compartment. Firefighter then grabs the LDH strap with their other hand and proceeds to the hydrant. Firefighter places hydrant board against hydrant and loops LDH strap over the hydrant. Firefighter returns to his apparatus. Apparatus proceeds to its destination. Taking a hydrant wet, forward lay. Designated firefighter, traditionally behind officer, disembarks engine and goes to tailboard. Firefighter opens hose cover. Firefighter grabs the hydrant board from rear compartment. Firefighter then grabs the LDH strap with their other hand and proceeds to the hydrant. Firefighter loops LDH strap over the hydrant and places hydrant board against hydrant and yells to the engine the command, lay in. Firefighter removes the spanner wrench from the hydrant board and removes the four inch storts cap. Firefighter then places the spanner wrench on the hydrant nut for use later. Firefighter removes the LDH strap from the hose and attaches the hose to the 4-inch Stortz coupling. Firefighter straightens hose and waits for command for water. water. Firefighter opens the hydrant by slowly turning the spanner wrench counterclockwise. The firefighter will continue turning clockwise until it stops, and then they will back off in a quarter turn in the clockwise direction. Firefighter will leave the spanner wrench on the hydrant nut of the opened hydrant and report back to his company. Using two and a half inch port with four inch storts adapter, firefighter grabs the hydrant board and LDH strap with their other hand and proceeds to the hydrant. Firefighter loops LDH strap over the hydrant and places hydrant board against hydrant and yells to the engine the command lay in. Lay in! Firefighter removes the spanner wrench from the hydrant board and removes the two and a half inch cap. Firefighter then places the spanner wrench on the hydrant nut for use later. Firefighter then removes the two and a half inch to four inch storts adapter from the hydrant board and threads it onto the two and a half inch threads. Firefighter removes the LDH strap from the hose and attaches the hose to the four inch storts coupling. Firefighter waits for command for water. Using two and a half inch port with two and a half inch ball valve and two and a half inch to four inch storts adapter. Firefighter grabs the hydrant board and two and a half inch ball valve with the other hand and proceeds to the hydrant. Firefighter places hydrant board against hydrant and ball valve near desired port. Firefighter removes the spanner wrench from the hydrant board and removes the two and a half inch cap. 
firefighter then places the spanner wrench on the hydro nut for use later. Firefighter threads 2.5 inch ball valve onto the 2.5 inch threads. Firefighter then removes the 2.5 inch to 4 inch storts adapter from the hydrant board and threads it onto the 2.5 inch ball valve. Firefighter tightens fitting with the spanner wrench and returns the spanner wrench to the hydrant nut. Do the same thing on this one? Nope. Set the valve. Firefighter confirms ball valve is in the off position and can charge the hydrant. Charge the hydrant. 